So this is how a hero ends up. You really think he's a traitor? Shh. Quiet with that kind of talk. All right, everybody, welcome to Kazan, the first Berserker. I am super stoked to be bringing you this game. I have gotten access to the closed technical test of it. This is being played on PS5. This is probably one of my most anticipated upcoming games. I can think of two right now, Phantom Blade Zero and this guy, as far as like kind of new IPs go. Um, there's other stuff, obviously, I'm really looking forward to. But this guy, the fact that I kind of get to bring you this close technical test, I get to showcase this for everyone within the network and all the people that come around and check it out. If you're interested in this, I hope this gives you an idea of what you're going to see. From what I've heard and seen about it, I've been following this game very closely since I saw the first announcement. It's a very, very brutal action RPG, Souls-like game. It's supposed to be extremely difficult, and uh, I couldn't be more amped to play it. And a big part of my attraction to this is not only my love for Souls-likes and the genre and the action RPGs, but also the art style. Like, it's so unique. It's so different than everything else. It's almost like a shell sh a cell shaded anime and I if you know my channel if you've been following me if you're part of my community that stick around you know I really jive with different artistic games it's part of like my my shtick it's something I'm really after I'm an art collector I have a crazy art collection I've been collecting canvases I buy stuff all over the world and I bring it home ship it home I have so much art I can't even put it on my walls I've got it stored I've actually slowed down in the last little bit but that's all part of it so when I find an artistic and neat game like this I am just amped so Thanks for tuning in. Do me a huge solid. Hit that sub button. If you're not already part of the gang, join the gang. Hit that like button. Help us out with the algorithm on this one. And uh, we will we will get through this. You will see this all coming up as episodes. Obviously, this is the first one. And then from here, I will be looking forward to obviously getting into the full release of this game, no matter what. So I've gone in and I've adjusted a bunch of my settings. We'll see how the sound does and everything goes with this. I've obviously fixed my inversion. Super stoked to see what we get going here. I think I might even be able to push my audio up a bit. What? What happened? We'll see. I want to be crisp over things. What happened? Your body is ours now. <laughs> Get out! Out! 
All right. No. Stop. I gotta mention how much I love the snow effects too. Snow effects are one of my favorite things in games lately. Dude's just bleeding everywhere. Super hunky hair metal protagonist. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, so this would be our grace. Uh, we got nothing to upgrade with. That's okay. Let's go fight some stuff. It, wow. It, is this ever fast? Responsive? Okay, got our dodge. Okay, lock on. Uh, the guard button uses stamina to block while guarding your movement and stamina recovery rate are reduced. Press the guard button at the right time to get a brink guard. So your parry. Is that a parry or... Yeah. So brink guard here. <laughs> Netherworld energy. Use up to heal. Whoa. Wild. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to reset that guy. And uh, it sounds like it, it sounds. It feels like that parry is quite. Okay. So that is that an auto rest? Yeah. So three heals, full health again. Okay. Good. Let's scrap this guy. Oh, I did. Do they respawn? It's an interesting one. All right, get a little bit more aggressive. Nuke these guys. The speed. I, this is what like I look for is the speed, sp the speed of mobility. That guard coming up, the dodging. I can tell you right now, this is going to be wicked. Dodge. Holy. Uh, okay, there's got to be something back here then. Little side path here. Little fucking boss fight? Are we fucking serious?
What the? All right, that's what I'm waiting for. Oh. Oh, out of stamina. Take that heal. What do we got here? Okay, we got that. That is good. Okay, I think... Let me just... One quick here. Take the master up a little bit. So that was a nice little chest. Gladiator's leggings... Necklace of Commitment, Lifesteal Stone. Okay, stats all tied to everything. Max Stamina, thank you kindly. We will take it. Hotkey items. Digging, simple little... What does this guy do? Uh, small stone refuses living energy, yields a small amount of currency when sold. Okay. I, I like that little simplicity of the menu, too. Ah, uh, yeah, they put you right above it, because they know. Oh, and I get I get to do my stats here. Okay. Uh, Alright, so vitality, health, I... If you've seen... If you're new and you don't know, I try to avoid upgrading health as much as possible. I try to go hard into my damage stats and overcome everything. So... Strength will increase my carry weight, which is huge. Proficiency. Stamina damage increase. So it looks like everything buffs your health, though. So vitality would be the big one. And you get your resistances. Uh, strength has to be our damage, right? Received stamina damage decrease. Neat way to do the, uh, the stats. Attack damage. So, like, the vitality does your resistances. Endurance is going to be straight up your stamina recovery. Uh, and everything gives you a bit of health, obviously. So, strength will do your damage and your carry weight, which is nice. Willpower looks like it increases your stamina recovery and your damage. So, you get to pick between these two. You either get uh, the decrease to your stamina going down and the weight increase, or you get that uh, guard damage decrease in stamina recovery rate, so that's neat. And then obviously reduce your dodge stamina cost. So the way they've kind of untied stamina and like it's linked to a few different things is pretty neat. So let's go. I can tell you already this game is awesome. I'm seconds in, we'll see when it starts getting nasty here. Seems like your heavy attack can really chew people up. Getting that perfect dodge on is. A thing. Take this 
range, fucker. Very straightforward attack pattern. Don't think I'm quite understanding what to do there. Brutal attack. Circle behind unaware. And it's circle. Okay, there we go. That's funny. I was just... Rest point here soon. Mid air. Dude, 11k damage on that? I was already excited for this game, and just after minutes, 19 minutes in, I am so beyond stoked for this. Okay, shock. Summoners can maintain their stance even when attacked. Use a potent blow to break their stance. Let's get better put some uh better put some gear on as we're getting it. I need all the help I can get concerning I take another hit, I'm going back to that rest stone. there. Was that? That was not a rest. That is like a special memory thing. Okay. I think we can do this. I'm not sure why the little menu's on the top left. We'll have to see if we can't shut that off. There we go. Get our health back. I mean, I might actually focus a little bit more on willpower for that stamina recovery. Oh, but I love me some carry weight too. So it's a 50-50. Let's go to 15 with strength and then go from there. Okay, that clears that up. Full rest achieved. We cannot get up there. That must be a nice little back. There's no jump. Okay, there's our skill menu. Two separate skill menus, R1 and R2. All right, everybody, I'm going to wrap this first episode up right here. Do me a huge solid. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Come back. We're going to cover more Kazan. I'm going to get this editing and ready to go up on the channel. Obviously, I want to I wanna be able to get the coverage done for this. And then I also want to double check all the sound, make sure I'm happy with where we're at. So 
yeah, this is a great point to wrap this nice short little intro and come back because we are going to cover the entire closed technical test. Adios.